Hi, and welcome to our tutorial series to get you started on Test Monitor. These videos are designed to show you how to use the main features of Test Monitor and will help you set up your first test project. In this seventh video, we are going to learn how to resolve issues. In the previous videos, we set up a test, ran it, and tracked test results. Now it's time to manage issues. Before we start, please note that Issue Management is an optional project feature. To enable it, head over to your project settings and enable Issue Tracking in the feature list. When it's enabled, click on the Resolve menu item in the Navigation menu. You'll be taken to the Issues Overview page, which provides a list of all issues along with their code, name, description, status, category, and impact. You can use the filters to narrow down the issues you want to manage by selecting a specific category, status, or assignee. There are additional filters available in the More Filters section. Here's a tip. If you have a favorite filter selection, you can save it using the Save Filter feature. Once saved, it will become listed in the Filter menu as a quick preset. As with other tables in Test Monitor, you can customize it by clicking on the column icon on the right. This will open the Table Settings menu, where you can enable and disable columns to your preference. Below the table, there's a page selector, allowing you to click through the different pages. You can change the page limit as well. You can create an issue by clicking on the Add Issue button in the top right. When the dialog box appears, select a category, enter the name, and enter the description. You'll note some fields are already pre-filled, such as Category and Priority. You can change them if you like. Click on Save to confirm. The new issue is now listed in the overview. By adding issues this way, you don't associate them to test results or test cases. If you want to link this issue to a test result, check out our previous video on tracking test results to learn more. To edit an issue, click on Code or the Chevron button on the right side. This will show the detail page containing all the properties and related objects for this issue. To update a field, click on the pencil icon next to the field's value. Change its value and click the save icon to update. You'll also notice the attachment field, which allows you to upload documents to your issue. Click on the field to upload a document or simply use drag and drop. Issues have a dedicated comment section, which allows you to post messages to anyone who's involved. You can mention other users by typing an at sign followed by the first few letters of their name. Test Monitor will recognize the name by matching it with the user list. Select the name of the person you want to mention, and once posted, a notification will be sent to this user. You can also refer to other issues by typing a hashtag followed by the issue code. Again, Test Monitor will present a list of issues matching the code. Pick one, and a convenient link will be created in your message to the issue you specified. You can delete the issue by opening the three-dot menu on the top right. In the menu, click on Delete and confirm your action. You'll be taken back to the overview once it's removed. In the Issue Overview, the sidebar is available as well. This can be especially useful when you quickly want to update a single property or refer to a field that's not in the overview. Click on the Issues row in the overview to reveal the sidebar. You can edit a field by clicking on the value, changing the input, and clicking on the Save icon to confirm the update. You can switch between issues by picking another one from the overview. The sidebar will remain open until you click the cross button to the left. This concludes the seventh video in this series. In the next video, we are going to explore the reports in Test Monitor. Thank you for watching and happy testing!